Hello, hello, hello. It's Kyle Ben Bors with Boris.com. And today I'm going to share with you a document that we use to help SDRs get through gatekeepers when cold calling. So if you have a team of SDRs or you're an SDR yourself, making sure that you're making the most out of those gatekeeper conversations, then listen up because I got something good for you. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, so gatekeepers are part of cold calling, right? If you're dialing into businesses, odds are there's somebody who's not your main target that's answering the phone. And as a sales rep, an SDR or an AE who does their own cold calling, you need a way to navigate those conversations so that way you either get to the decision maker or learn enough to improve your call next time. And I'm gonna show you how to do both by going through what we call our gatekeeper handling document. It's a very, very simple document that teaches you how to get through a gatekeeper, but maybe even more importantly, how to prioritize what you're looking for out of a gatekeeper conversation. And if this is the type of content that you like, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot and it tells us we should keep making this. Let's jump in. All right, so the first thing you need to know about talking to a gatekeeper is what your order of objectives are. And I have it very clearly outlined here, so let's just go through it and I'll explain a little bit on the way. So this is the order of objectives that you should be following when talking to a gatekeeper. The first is get transferred to the decision maker. Ultimately, that's the person you want to speak to. That should be your number one priority and the first thing that you do. The second objective is get a time to call back and reach the decision maker. It blows my mind how many people skip this step. You can just ask the gatekeeper for a better time to call back, and then when you call back at the time, you your likelihood of getting the decision maker on the phone is a lot higher. So make sure you're asking as your second objective. Number three here, ask your qualification questions. So if you've gotten a time to call back, ask some of the qualification questions so that way you know that this person's gonna qualify or at the very least you get some more context that might help your next conversation. And the fourth objective here is actually asking discovery questions. Now, this is gonna depend on if the gatekeeper you're talking to has some knowledge of the business. So it might be an office manager if you're calling into a small business. But if you're calling into a larger organization and it's just a phone operator, they're not gonna know answers to your discovery questions. But let me define qualification and discovery questions for you so that way we know what we're talking about here. So qualification questions are simple things that just tell you if they're qualified to use your tool. Are you using uh, this type of software, for example, let's say there's a mandatory integration you have. Is the prospect that you're calling the right person to actually talk to about this, right? Maybe you're talking to the whole wrong person. Things like this to help you qualify that you have the right person and then th that their organization is gonna be able to use your tool in the first place. Discovery questions are a little bit different. Discovery questions are things that you would use in the conversation in order to position your product as the right one for them. This would be things like, how are you guys currently managing your billing? Do you run into any challenges around your billing management? Stuff like that, where you're learning the problems that they might be having so that way when you do get on the phone with a decision maker you have a bit more context again this is only useful to ask if the gatekeeper you're talking to would possibly know the answer to the question if not you should just continue on call somebody else and then call that person back when it's a better time Alrighty, let's talk script for a second. So this gatekeeper script here is one that I've been using for years and I haven't found anything better now it is a little tricky to deliver. So I'm gonna read through it here and I'm gonna share with you why we delivered in that way. So let me go through it. Hey, I'm looking for Kevin. It's Kyle. That's it, I know, pretty simple. <laughs> so here's what's happening. You wanna say, hey, I'm looking for, and then the decision maker's name with a lot of high energy and friendliness. This gives off the vibe that you are somebody who might know the person, you're somebody friendly, might be a relative. So the prospect in their head doesn't think you're a salesperson right off the bat. They're still going to want to know your name. That's the trick with this script. We don't give the name up front, right? The gatekeeper, they have their own script. And their script is, what's your name? What's this in regards to? You know, where are you calling from? They're trying to take you down their script. So the first part of their script that we know is, hey, who's calling? By giving that pause, the gatekeeper is going to start to ask for your name. And you say your name right before they're able to ask you. And what ends up happening is the gatekeeper oftentimes will still ask your name even though you just said it. And that 
makes them feel a little embarrassed. Usually you can laugh about it, which is great. And then they end up transferring you because it's a little bit flusters them and it kicks them off of their script. Because gatekeepers have a script just like we do, right? Their script is, what's your name? Where are you calling from? What's this in regards to? By leveraging our knowledge of their script, we can throw them off it by having really good timing with the placement of our name. It is a really unique script here. It works incredibly well. And I've been using this for, gosh, almost a decade now. And it's just as effective now as it was when I was a young SDR using it. Now, let's say the little trick didn't work. Cause remember, it's not gonna work all the time, right? <laughs> what are the possible responses that we're gonna get from the gatekeeper? And how do we handle those responses? So I have those here, three real possible responses. What's this regarding? They aren't available right now and I could take a message. So what's this regarding? It's about high level topic. Did I catch him at a bad time? Yes. Shoot, my fault. Uh, I'm in between meetings here and I thought I could catch them. Hmm, uh, when would be a better time for me to give them a call back? So you notice what I'm doing here. I am asking a question. Did I catch them at a bad time? Whoever's asking the question is in control of the conversation. Remember, that's super important. So I asked a question. They said yes, great. Shoot, my fault. Uh, I'm in between meetings here and I thought I could catch her. Um, let's see, when would be a better time for me to give her a call back? I'm doing that because it's not very salesy. It makes me seem like somebody who might be important. It doesn't make me seem like a salesperson. And what this does is it gets the gatekeeper to either transfer me in the case that they were lying about them being busy or they're actually gonna give me a time to call back. So that's the key here is we wanna push off any potential sales pressure. Now, the next one. They aren't available right now. Shoot, my fault. I'm in between meetings here and I thought I could catch her. Uh, shoot, well, when would be a better time for me to give him a call back? Same flustered energy that you're saying that with. The goal, remember, our second objective, get a time to call back. Now the last one, I can take a message. Sure. Well, actually, when would be a better time to call them back? The reason why we're putting that pause there is because we said sure, which makes the gatekeeper ready to take a message because we've accepted their request. And then we're actually transferring it, which throws them off their script a little bit. We're more likely to get that callback number. Gatekeepers I've tested extensively. This is a script that I like the most for them. From there, follow your order of objectives, ask those qualification questions, and if relevant, ask the discovery questions too, after you've gotten that time to call back. I've tested gatekeepers extensively. As an SDR, personally, I was mostly talking to gatekeepers the entire time, so I got very good and very calculated about my scripting with gatekeepers. That's what your team needs to do too. If you talk to a lot of gatekeepers, you need to get very good at managing the gatekeeper and getting through to the decision decision maker. This has worked really well for myself, for our clients here. I imagine it's going to have great results for you, but like everything, test, get the data, tweak it a little bit, test again, get the data, tweak again until you get somewhere that is really effective for you. And that's it folks. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below and we'll talk soon.